Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, I want to talk about a solution which we can have a bridge directly between uh, Google Drive and a project in Unity. For example, we can download an image or upload an image into the Google Drive. Okay, let's take a look at the first step. The first step is uh, we should come over here, Elling Rains, uh, Unity Google Drive. It is inside the GitHub. I will share the link of this uh, page uh, inside the description of my video. First of all, uh, you should copy this link here inside the installation. You should copy this link and come back to your Unity. Uh, however, I already uh, downloaded this code, but I will explain what I have done. Uh, you should come over to Package Manager inside this plus button. You should uh, come over to Add Package from Git URL. And after that, you should paste that link here and press Add. Whenever you have done this uh, step, you will see it will be like this a uh, unity google drive uh, it's downloaded and installed on uh, my unity you can see the same uh, result like me however the version for me it is 0 0.27 maybe for your time it will be higher but uh, yeah after you download this uh, plugin uh, you, we should go to the next step the next step is we should go over to the edit uh, project settings and at this part we have Google Drive and this is the uh, overall settings for configuration uh, for your Google Drive account and your project and uh, Unity. Okay, first we should come over here and uh, press this button. Uh, create Google Drive API app okay and after that in this page uh, if you have a project it's something else but if you don't have any project just click on create project here let's make a uh, let's select uh, the name which you want for example I say uh, my work my works no my work okay and organization can be empty or any organization you want and let's create okay after you create you will see these steps here okay the, uh, the project my work has been set up successfully uh, here you just need to press next and enable you are about uh, to enable Google Drive API okay okay the next step will be here for API services and at this part uh, we should come over to the, the API services and at this part should click on this part okay correct okay in the left panel we should click on auto consent screen at this part and create something it can be internal it depends on your position if uh, if you want to uh, uh, you know just share the content between your organization's member or for public for example i select on external for public and i create something in here i again need to add my uh, application name i just say my work and my support email is my email and here can be email address i'm writing my email as well here okay excellent just need to add save and continue at this part 
Uh, no need to add anything else for desktops. I just need to press cancel. Okay, it is fine. And because this project is in the st um, publishing status, is in testing, uh, we should consider uh, one uh, important point is we should define uh, who is gonna be tester of this project okay or who are gonna be and for example I'm adding my email okay so tanha.applofaz71 at signgmail.com is my tester okay we have a test users here and it is fine okay the next step is uh, we should go to the credentials at this part all right and create credentials and at this part oh I thought client ID excellent I propose to uh, select web application because we want to have a multi-platform, uh, multi cross-platform here and web client can be anything uh, but I say my work clients, okay and no need to add any URI or Ethereum JavaScript however if you have a project which is related to the WebGL, you should uh, con uh, you know consider these points at here. For example, your JavaScript system or URIs here. But uh, for now, it is fine. I press create. Excellent. Now I have my client ID and client secret and anything. And I should at this part a status is enabled. Okay, just download JSON okay after I download my JSON I come back to the editor and here we have parse generic credential JSON file I press it here and come back to the downloads and I have this guy this guy the nearest one just submit my, my time okay look at this the client ID is correct, project ID my work, and everything is fine. Okay, now the step of the uh, project configuration has been done. Uh, in this scene, I made a simple scene which is contains just a canvas and raw image to showing the received image. And, and the my cam uh, camera, main camera, I've added this test script. Let's take a look at the test script here. At this part, uh, you should know that first you should you need to have using Unity Google Drive in your uh, using list. And after I have added uh, public texture 2d for image that thing I want to uh, upload that image I want to upload and these guys are related for that image I already uploaded and downloaded sorry and uh, this is whenever I want to upload I said uh, I press button U for upload uh, call this function uh, this guy and whenever I want to download call this function uh, this guy okay first it is file creates uh, we have our, our content uh, it is the an array it's gonna be the array of bytes of that image uh, we will input that image here and encoding to the PNG and make the array um, of the bytes here after that we will call this function unity google drive dot data dot file okay the name of that file or that image we wanna upload it for example I say my org image okay and the content of that image is that image we already parsed and you know uh, uh, 
convert to the bytes here and after that we will say okay the our request is gonna be google drive files dot create which file this file the image was with this name and the content of that array okay and we will wait because it is an emulator and we will wait until this request is sent uh, at this part we will check do we have any error and at this point we will say okay do we have any content for that one and at this part we will get the id of that image this is the process of uploading file from unity to the google drive and in this function we will find out how we can download an image from google drive but first uh let's test this up uh, and this mechanism okay the image which i want to uh, upload to the google drive is this image it can be any image but uh, the important point is this image has to be read and write first and second point is a no need to have compression the compression of that image has to be none okay uh, just press uh, just check uh, read and write and set the compression equal none after apply you will have your image ready for upload and i drag and drop that image to this field and now i play the scene all right before press U and upload the image, request to upload the image, uh, we should consider, come back to the uh, project management, in the credentials, uh, click on my work clients. At this part, we should consider, uh, if, you, if we don't want to use WebGL, uh, uh another platform for example windows android or whatever we should consider http slash that a local host for uris okay and after that we should come back to the edit project settings at this part uri shem credentials just duplicate this client id and paste here copy this part and paste it here okay let's play the scene excellent and i press u okay it says choose an icon to continue my work my work it means my project okay i selected this one i said do you want to verify this one i continue and i want to have all of this and continue again Okay, it says please return to the app. Okay, and look at this. The upload has been done. There is no error and no problem. And this is the ID of that image which I already uploaded. Okay, let's come back to the Google Drive. And here, look at this. This is my image which already uploaded. My work image. And if you take a look at it this image is fine and if I uh, for example get link and copy link here look at this this is the image ID of this image and the file ID of this image uh, 1355 uh, JN99 look at this 1355 JN99. It helps us to understand um, how can we how we can get the file ID to be able to download it from uh, Google Drive. Okay. For example, if I'm here and uh, let me okay. Sorry, upload the file, for example, this one. Okay. The, ah, this is the image. Okay. 
and I click on get link and copy link here and come back here as you can see this is the uh, the file ID of this image I copy between this slash and this one okay copy this part and come back here I need to paste at this part okay here the function of uh, file download will have a request for google drive files dot download this is the file id and in here we will wait until the request is sent if we have any error it shows here if we have any problem and content is fine over Nile, it's here and in here we will have i made a, an, an array of bytes for downloaded content here I said request.responseData.content as a, an array of bytes and put it inside here and create a texture with the resolution 1024 1024 I called it text okay text load load image the array of bytes of that image which we already downloaded made the texture of it applied as a texture and that image raw image here I said okay the texture of that raw image is equal to that texture we already downloaded okay let's come back to the scene and I press play let's clear the console and press D excellent this is it there's no error no problem and as you can see it is our image That's it. Excellent. If you want to learn about more functionalities about uh, interaction with uh, Google Drive, you can come over here inside it's inside assets folder and scripts. As you can see, there is a lot of functions for here: text file create and delete and download audio and texture or whatever. You can take a look at them and. They are easy, they are just using and the important part is whenever you want to upload, uh, it's having the right name and right contact uh, content, sorry, and whenever you want to download, what matter is, let's have a, a file ID and also um, the next part is going this, okay, convert them to array, after that, uh, if it is image, just make an image from here if it is audio let's make an idea from uh, this array okay i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you don't hesitate to ask any question related to unity ar vr and xr subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it have a great time bye bye